welcome Brendan Fraser. It's great to be here, mainly because I live in the States. Sterling has crashed so far, I can get all my Christmas shopping done for about buck ten. <laughs> Particularly delighted to be here at the Royal Variety Performance. Can't think of a nicer way to spend the evening, although seeing Ink Heart would run it close, I hear it's very good. <laughs> I've been watching the show from backstage, and it has been an amazing sight. Um, second to the Oscars, I don't know how they managed to cram all these stars into one show, but there is one thing I do know you're going to love this next performance. So let me just set the scene. It's 1945. It's a moonlit night in occupied France. Two fearless fighters have been sent on a secret mission and the world's hopes rest in their hands. It's World War II like you've never seen it before. Welcome to the surreal world of Armstrong and Miller. Pip, old man. Pip, pip. That was well safe, isn't it? Jumping out of a plane up in the sky and whatever. For show me, brethren, that was wicked sick. Because we was all in the sky and then we was all on the ground. Isn't it, though? This is me. I'm in the sky, yeah, and then this is me again. I'm on the ground. Random. <laughs> so where is we? Is we abroad, like in Wales, or one of them countries like that or some stuff? <laughs> this is France, man. I've been here before on a school trip. Everyone eats really long bread and the men all do their toilet up a wall. <laughs> so, like, you know all them bullets, what was fired up at us? Yes. You know them, right? Yes. You know all them bullets? Yes. What was all fired up at us and stuff? Yes. Who was firing them bullets at us? The Germans. No, man, you got that wrong. You were like some remtard or something. <laughs> no, because Germany is where the Germans are. France has got, like, Frenchish. I mean, even I know that, and I've got a disorder. <laughs> the uh, Germans have come to France, though. They've, like, invaded and all this, that and everything else. <laughs> is it? Is it that they've invaded and all this? Oh, that's bad, man. Someone should definitely do something about that. We better get going, blood. We're meeting up with this bloke from the resistance at 2300 hours. Is that like a time or something? Yeah, man. It's like a time in the night time. That's our mission, to uh, meet up with this French geezer and give him these grenades and this secret code book. Yeah? Is it well secret? It's badly secret, blood. No one except me is supposed to see it. Can I have a look? Yeah. Yeah, I'm bored with reading now. You've got a disorder. Isn't it? You know, you know the group captain, yeah? He reckons if we do this mission right, we'll get a thank you letter from the king or whatever. The king? Yeah. Which one's he again? That one with the big pointy hat with all the stuff on it. Now, that's Carmen Miranda, isn't it? No, man, she's got all fruit on her hat. The king's got all jewels and gold and Rolex and all ten bob notes on his hat. Is he well blinged up? He's blinged up badly, man. So how come he's got all this gold and money and this, that and everything else in his hat? Is he some sort of dealer? No, I, I think he got it from uh, Henry VIII or King Arthur or Robin Hood or Jesus or whatever. I was away when we did history. I had a Veruca. <laughs> right. This is where we're meant to meet this him, yeah? He's going to make a noise like an owl or something. Is owl's moo or is owl's wolf? <laughs> owl's is cluck, you div. <laughs> Here, you know what? What, blood? You know all like the Air Force and that? Yes. I reckon they sent me on this mission because it's dangerous and they don't like me. <laughs> it's all against me and it's for no reason because I've never done nothing and I'm not even lying. Yes. You did set fire to the barracks though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I, I did set fire to the barracks. You yeah. burnt it right down? Yeah. And you bombed Portsmouth? <laughs> yeah, I bombed Portsmouth right down, yes, but that was a mistake. I was talking to Tyler on the phone, calling him gay and all this, and I accidentally bombed Portsmouth. <laughs> Tyler is well gay. Him and his wife have got a little baby and everything. That's well bent. Anyway, you, you know, after I burned down the barracks and then bombed Portsmouth, you know what the Air Force wanted to do? What? Punish me. <laughs> no way, punish you? That's so against your rights. Yeah, I know. 
This is me to them, right? The reason I've done them things is because I haven't got a support network to help me with my challenging behaviour. And that's your <laughs> fault, not mine. <laughs> that is so their fault. They should have supported you. You've got a disorder. Do you know what I'm saying? You've got personal expression difficulties and issues around obedience. Yes. And yet they blame me. <laughs> Just because I did it, they blame me. <laughs> Bonjour, mes amis. Are you ill? You're... <laughs> You're talking all funny. Have you got a disease and all this? I think you might be French or something. They talk all weird like that. I'm sorry. I never done French. I done media studies. <laughs> I done I done media studies too because we had Mr. Reynolds for French and he used to try and touch your bollocks. <laughs> I will talk to you in English, my friends. Do you have the uh, code book and the grenades? Oh, thank you so much. Our struggle is intensifying, my friends. I sense victory is near. Many of my countrymen, too many, will die for our cause. But for the French nation, I do think the next few months will truly be a defining period. He said period. I know. <laughs> I will take you to one of my colleagues who will lead you on a safe route to Switzerland. Spec. So do you know how to use the grenades and all this? We went on a course all about it in that. I got an E minus, but then my mum went to see the geezer and he gave me a D. Uh, yes, thank you. I know how to use the grenade. Please put that back. Uh, don't do that, you idiot! Yeah, you pull this pin out here, yeah? and then you, like, just throw it. Like, chuck it all in the air. I didn't believe the instructor at first. This is me to him. You chuck it, and this is him. Yeah. And this is you again. <laughs> then this is me again. You shouldn't, like, throw metal away, because it, like, doesn't biodegrade for a million years. It's really bad for the environment. Yeah, it, it's like murdering the planet. It's like racism, but against soil. So then, right, <laughs> this is him to me, yeah? And then... <laughs> We got all blown up. <laughs> all exploded in that? You know what this means? What blood? We're owed some compensation, isn't it? Isn't it, though? <laughs> isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? Standard. <laughs> <laughs>